Welcome to class. This is History 101. I'm glad we all showed up today. Today we're going to learn about the Great Depression and just a brief overview of the Great Depression before I show you a video. The Great Depression was the most severe and longest economic downturn in history of the United States. The, the Great Depression began soon after the stock market crash of, in October of 1929 and sent Wall Street into chaos and eradicated millions of investors. Over the coming years, consumer spending and investment dropped drastically, causing increasing levels of unemployment. By 1933, when the Great Depression reached its lowest, roughly 15 million Americans were unemployed and nearly half of the country's banks had failed. President Franklin D. Roosevelt implemented relief and reform programs to help lessen the severity of the effects of the Great Depression, but the economy did not, re not fully recover until after 1939. So now I'm going to show you a video regarding the Great Depression, and it's about a minute long. Why did I come to class today? I'm the only one here. I hate history. I just like finance. So the Great Depression has made this country what it became. This kind of fear or concern that, gee, everything's going well, but everything could fall apart. It has been difficult for subsequent generations to really imagine just how awful and how deep and how long it was. You know, the Great Depression was so interesting because America had been on such a high for so long. And just, you know, the jazz age and everything was great and everybody was having a lot of fun. And all of a sudden, it came crashing down. And I think that folks just sort of thought, is this the end of the American okay, As you can see from the video, you can see the turmoil that people were in in the Great Depression. And you can see how people were affected and how pretty much the country lost all hope in what they were and they were confused in what the years to come were going to be like. So um, now we're going to talk about how people were affected and how severely they were affected and what, what the government did to relieve some of this. Yes, Jake? Me, since I'm a uh, board college student, I would just like to know, what was it like for students during the Great Depression, such as myself? How did they thrive through the Great Depression? During the Great Depression, getting an education was becoming more and more difficult for students across America, but most especially for Southerners. From not being able to afford the required supplies for school to not being able to afford tuition, many families found it near impossible to send their, their children to school. Students dealt with these harsh realities of the Great Depression in difficult ways. Many students took the dual role of being a student and working for their families. And for most students, rather than school coming first, work came first. Students had to walk miles to attend school because there was no affordable means of transportation. They also went hungry during the days because their families couldn't afford to feed them three meals a day, and there was no lunch programs at the school. Uh, families were rationing all, all the little food they had, so it was normal for a student to go hungry through the day. Classrooms were run a lot differently than the student was used to. Students of all grade levels were put into one large classroom and taught by one teacher. The schools lacked funding, which led to cuts that not only affected the teachers, but harshly affected the students because they were not receiving an education that was off to par. So what was done to help students with their lack of education during these hard times? Under the New Deal, which FDR implemented, he implemented various programs to help relieve the hardships that were going on during the Great Depression. So one of the um, relief programs that he administered was called the National Youth Administration, otherwise known as the NYA. And this program, he implemented this and it was for young students that lacked their education, like students that had to drop out during the Great Depression, and it helped them to find jobs and prepare them for occupations that they would have later in life. And all the money that was given to the students was only allowed for um, like them to use for books and transportation and lunch. Since that was like the main problems that like concerned them because they couldn't, they didn't have money to pay for books so that's why they had to drop out or they didn't have the time to come because they were helping their families make money, uh, make money and they didn't have they couldn't come to school on like empty stomachs so they just like decided to not come to school instead of making
taking that long journey to school. So that's what the National Youth Administration did for them. They gave them money for all that and helped them to like balance what they lacked in school. What was it like being a teacher during the Great Depression? Um, during the Great Depression, it was pretty difficult to be a teacher. Like all others, uh, teachers were greatly affected by the Great Depression, especially financially. And some of the salaries were cut as low as $40 a month. And although like that might seem, it was like one of the better paying jobs during the Great Depression, but it was pretty hard for the teachers considering that that was like their salary cut in half. And in some schools, um, teachers were only paid five months out of the 13 months that they taught. So it was extremely difficult for the teachers um, during this time. And for schools, it was uh, difficult to find qualified teachers, especially because of a lot of the male teachers that were highly qualified found better paying jobs and they had to do more for their families and work on the farms and stuff like that. So uh, schools also refused to hire married women, so it was hard for them to find teachers that were up to par. And uh, because of these hardships, there was a state of urgency to resolve this. So under the New Deal, there was a relief program that FDR implemented called the Civil Works Education Service Program. And this helped a lot of the teachers to find jobs. And a lot of people hired teachers to teach adults their writing and reading skills. And they were also hired to teach vocational classes that included teaching how to, people how to type, sew, and cook. This class is so boring. Can I leave? How about you come up here and teach the class? Actually, I'd love to. So, being a finance major, I do understand a lot about how the Great Depression started. One of the main factors that contributed to it were low interest rates. With low interest rates, people started to borrow and borrow and borrow for money that they didn't have and invest it into the stock markets. Well, when those interest rates started going up, people began to panic. So basically, when the stock market crashed, people were trying to bail the money out of bail their money out of the banks. However, the banks collapsed as well, so they could not retrieve their money that uh, they had stored in the banks because the banks didn't have enough money to show out to the people, causing a depression. Dude, I just had the most inspiring class about the Great Depression. We learned about the teachers in the Great Depression and the financials. I wonder what it would be like to be rich during the Great Depression. I'm waiting for the paper boy to deliver my paper so I can check the stock market. It's tough in the 1930s as the Great Depression has already hit. Ah, interest rates are high, but that is why I invested all of my money into oil, as I can foresee it rising. With bond prices yielding 4.59%, I made sure to convert all my stocks into bonds, which is why I'm financially thriving right now, even though the economy is not so well. The policy that I have uh, foreseen coming called Public Works, in which the government is creating jobs, however, it's coming out of the taxpayer's pocket, such as myself.